Hey, I'm Jennifer Farr Davis, and I'm here with my friend, former North Carolina State Senator Steve Metcalf. We've been invited here by Connect Buncombe to take you on a tour along the French Proud River Greenways. That's right, Jennifer. Our friends at Connect Buncombe and other conservation advocates have accomplished a lot here working with the city and with the different towns, the county, and the different state agencies. Reminds me a lot of the work that we did together some time back when we were helping the Mountains of Sea Trail try to reach their goals. That's right. And it's a commitment we make to our community, Steve. I mean, these trails are a part of the Buncombe County Greenway Network. They create healthier lifestyles for the people who live here and a better environment for everyone. It's a team effort. Fact is, the community is the big winner here. It's true. I'll also add that they create recreational and safe transportation opportunities, and they're a boost for our local economy. So buckle up, Steve. Here we go. We're going to take a trip along the greenways and travel down the French Broad River to where it all began at Hominy Creek. This particular part of the French Broad River Greenway begins at Hominy Creek Park in West Asheville and travels the banks of the French Broad River through Carrier Park until reaching the Amboy Road Bridge. This paved wooded section takes us under I-40 and into the southern edge of Carrier Park, where some major transitions and land reclamation projects have been completed. Carrier Park was first used for horse racing and called Carrier Field. Then it became Owen Airport, named for Dr. James E. Owen, a local dentist and old-time barnstorming aviator. After the airport closed, the Asheville Speedway was built on the site, opening as a dirt track in 1961, and NASCAR started racing here in 1962. Fans really loved that racetrack. But the Speedway closed after the 1999 season, and the land was converted to a city recreational place that we enjoy today as the Melodrome. Carrier Park became one of Asheville's premier city parks. You name it, they play it here, on fields, courts, and rinks. And yes, a velodrome for bicycles. You'll also find a beautiful picnic pavilion, dramatic river overlooks, and wetland interpretive trails. At the northern end of Carrier Park, is an area being reclaimed from a toxic junkyard filled with crushed cars and chemical waste to a park named after Karen Cragnolan, former executive director of Riverlink. A short way from here, we'll be at the Amboy Road Bridge and the French Broad River Park, where many people start their walk along the greenway and socialize with their pets at the dog park. I bet those dogs sure have a great view of the river. It's great to see all these people out today walking through this beautiful snow-covered landscape. But the trail below looks a little muddy right now. I remember how beautiful this section is in the spring with that hillside full of wildflowers. I think it's wonderful that the city of Asheville is planning on paving this path and putting up educational displays about the flowers and indigenous edible plants of the area. They're going to have volunteer-led edible gardens too. Imagine that. They say construction is slated for this year it's already been nicknamed the Edible Mile. And here comes the new Belgium brewery into sight. This new section of the French Broad River Greenway West was completed in 2016. From the beginning, the city and the brewery wanted this project to be an example of an environmentally sensitive design, making it a perfect fit with the Greenway. The Greenways have been an incredible asset during the pandemic allowing people to get out and enjoy fresh air and exercise in our beautiful community. Just over the Craven Street Bridge, the Greenway connects with the East Bank. Looks like the revitalization of the River Arts District is next. And here we are, Steve. The French Broad River Greenway East coincides with a major urban waterfront development project. Here, the Greenway follows the eastern banks of the French Broad River from Amboy Road to Hill Street. This project enhances the River Arts District with a safer road, sidewalks, and a two-way separated bike lane. Urban planners are calling this combination of transportation multimodal. 
this greenway is already getting a lot of use even though the official grand opening won't happen until later this year. I like that term, multimodal. You can ride, slide, drive, or walk and have your own lane. You've always walked your own path, Jennifer. Heading back north, here's a special little section that connects Asheville's and Woodfin's greenways. In 2018, the county received a $300,000 grant for this greenway. The grant required a $60,000 local match. Neither the county nor the city had budgeted for this. Connect Buncombe challenged the city and county to partner with them with each organization providing a third of the matching funds. And they did it. The engineering study for the Greenway is set to begin this year. Now that's the way to get things done. As you said, Steve, the plan is to connect Asheville's northern sections to the Woodfin Greenway and Blue Way coming into view now. The French Broad River section will follow the riverbanks in Woodfin for three miles to the point where Beaver Dam Creek enters the French Broad River near Elk Mountain Road. This section of Greenway will trace the route of the historic Drovers Road. This is the busy transportation path that connected East Tennessee to South Carolina and preceded the railway era in Buncombe County. Part of the Greenway runs through the Silver Line Park that is being built on a five and a half acre site donated by Silver Line Plastics. Connect Buncombe donated $5,000 towards construction of the Greenway in this park. The park will also include river access for boats, parking, picnic areas, a playground, and bicycle and watercraft rentals. But wait, there's more. The Wave at Riverside Park, a world-class whitewater wave created from a carefully designed and engineered ledge feature made of natural rock and concrete and constructed right into the riverbed. Perfect for a broad range of river adventures from novices to whitewater experts. Jennifer, I have to hand it to Woodfin. That all sounds amazing. The town is working closely with Buncombe County and Riverlink to complete the Woodfin Greenway and Blue Way. The plan includes a two mile greenway along Beaver Dam Creek that will follow the creek upstream through a wooded and secluded gorge. It comes out near Merriman Avenue. Much of the route will parallel the path of the historic Craggy Mountain Line Railway. The engineering work will begin this year for all five miles of these greenways in Woodfin and Riverside Park, including the wave. How's that for exciting? Well, Jennifer, I think it's time to bring this thing in for a landing. You ready? Wow, that was quite a tour. Connect Buncombe and friends have gotten a lot of work done and they have a great plan for the future. I particularly like the plan for the project that's planned by the town of Woodford. Seems like a very innovative project. Yeah, I agree. And I really like the idea of that edible mile the city of Asheville is planning along the West Bank. I mean, it's gonna be really nice to have a snack on my way to New Belgium Brewery. Thing is, Jennifer, all of these conservation groups and government agencies pulling together will get the job done. And Connect Buncombe, continuing their efforts as a tireless advocate, will ensure a bright future for our community. I'm so excited. And now to everyone at Connect Buncombe, thank you for having us. It's been an honor to help get the message out there. And to everyone watching us, please, Think about what you can do to support our local greenways as we show you our local sponsors and business partners. See, See you down you the trail. trail. <laughs> <laughs>